For a long time, scientists have wanted to explore distant worlds. But the issue was that we didn't know how many of these worlds existed and where they were located. In the exploration of our universe, from the beginning of history. NASA releasing a full batch of images and data from the massive James Webb Space Telescope. The arrival of the James Webb Space Telescope has made this concern a thing of the past. The High Resolution Telescope has been a game changer in the field of infrared astronomy and cosmology. Scientists have been able to discover distant galaxies and planets that were too faint for the Hubble. What are these distant galaxies that James Webb has uncovered? 390 light years from Earth and contains about 50 stars, each with the mass of the Sun. And is it true that the telescope has stumbled upon the formation of stars? Join us in this video as we explore the topic, No Dark Matter, James Webb. Telescope just reported, strange galaxies have appeared at cosmic dawn. Launched via an Ariane 5 rocket into space on December 25th, 2021, the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, is NASA's biggest gift to infrared astronomy. The Space Telescope has helped scientists uncover many new galaxies we didn't know were out there. This exciting story began in June 2021, when scientists watched in amazement as the telescope kept discovering galaxy after galaxy. We are talking about thousands of new galaxies here, galaxies that are more distant and ancient than we imagined. The fact that none of these galaxies had been documented before was proof that we were dealing with an ingenious discovery. Some of these galaxies are 150 million years older than the oldest galaxy discovered by the Hubble telescope. As much as we appreciate the feats achieved by Hubble when it comes to infrared astronomy, the arrival of the JWST is a fresh breath of air. Thanks to the James Webb Telescope, we have been able to collect enough light from astronomical objects ranging from birthing stars to exoplanets. It's not the collection of the light that is the big deal, but what scientists have been able to achieve with it. By using this light, researchers have successfully found out what these astronomical objects are made of and how they move through space. For a long time, the constituents and movement of celestial objects have remained a mystery to the scientific community. We have the JWST to thank for breaking this jinx. If the discoveries uncovered by the James Webb Telescope were cakes, then the icing would be the fact that we have begun to find out the atmospheric conditions of planets that are billions of light years away from the Earth. This is a big win, not just for NASA, but the entire astronomical community. This is because the accumulated data provides insights into the ability of these planets to support life as we know it. One of the discoveries we cannot forget in a hurry is the pillar of creation, and we owe this to the Hubble Space Telescope. The Hubble is the reason why we have iconic images of the pillars of creation found in the Eagle of Nebula. The telescope made this discovery by making use of the most visible light to capture the structure's impressive clouds and the creation that is happening with them. We thought we had seen it all with these iconic images until the James Webb Telescope showed us something we never expected. The JWWST's infrared imaging can be described as an astronomical masterpiece because it has managed to capture the pillars of creation in the form of several protostars. What we have come to realize is the appearance of tiny red dots against the smoky backdrop of the pillars, which can be called collections of dust and gas. Each of these materials is many times larger than our solar system. However, the exciting information is that they actually represent stars being born. Nevertheless, researchers such as Derek Ward Thompson have informed us that the young stars that we see in the image are not yet burning hydrogen. Thompson, who is the head of the School of Natural Sciences at the University of Central Lancashire, UK, further explained that little by little, as more material falls in, 
the middle becomes denser and denser. At some point, it becomes so dense that the hydrogen burning switches on, and then suddenly, its temperature jumps up to about 2 million degrees Celsius. Furthermore, the benefit of this image data is that they are bound to help us understand how stars are formed, especially in the case of our Sun. There are 101 reasons why scientists are grateful for the development of the James Webb Telescope. However, one that stands out is the fact that the Space Telescope is making our study of exoplanets much easier. Astronomers first discovered exoplanets in the 1990s, and since then, they have been consistently learning about these planetary bodies. Over the years, we have come to realize that over 3,000 unexplored exoplanets are orbiting in faraway stars. The mysterious thing about these distant worlds is that only about two dozen of them have been imaged directly. Shocking, right? The reason for this is that most of these exoplanets are so distant that they can only be detected by a dip in the light of the star that they orbit. This often happens when that planet passes in front of its host star. And this doesn't happen as frequently as we would want it to. Nevertheless, the cloud of mystery surrounding these exoplanets has been shattered by the Webb telescope. Scientists were ecstatic when the telescope captured its first direct image of an exoplanet in September 2022. According to Sasha Hinckley, an astronomer at the University of Exeter who led the observation team behind the discovery, the recent finding is a laudable feat in astronomy. The lucky planet happens to be HIP 65426b, which had earlier been discovered in 2017. Hinckley and the rest of her team discovered it using two of the JWST's cameras, several filters, and its coronagraphs. These tools successfully block out the light of the central star. Although much credit goes to the telescope's high sensitivity, scientists say it doesn't deserve all the honor. Part of the credit goes to the planet for having several features that make it easier to observe. One reason why this finding by JWST is considered a big win for astronomy is the distance of the exoplanet. The planetary body is a hundred times the distance from our Sun to the Earth. Data have shown that this planet is much farther from its host star than any other planet in the solar system. So, we can understand why scientists are so hyped about this discovery involving a planet that can be called a colossal giant. It is very massive. It's about 12 times the size of Jupiter. Anytime we think we have seen it all as regards the James Webb Telescope, the $10 billion telescope keeps proving us wrong. For a long time, the Phantom Galaxy, also known as M74, has been difficult to find in the night sky. However, this mystery ended with the emergence of the Webb Telescope. Scientists are now able to observe the brilliance of the galaxy. Although this galaxy has been invisible to other telescopes, the Webb has changed this narrative by providing astronomers with better images of the galaxy's impeccable spiral structure and its distribution of stars and arms that extend outward from a radiant center. The Hubble's optical instruments had provided the imagery above. James Webb has taken this exploration further by revealing that our dear phantom galaxy is characterized by fiber-like structures of heat emitting dust and gas coming from a bright center rendered in vivid electric blue. The reason astronomers have been so happy about this finding is that it would help shed light on the star-forming regions spread across the galaxy's spiral arms. When researchers decided to combine the images of the Hubble and James Webb telescopes, a captivating composite image emerged that showcased the optical and infrared observations of the galaxy. Scientists working at the European Space Agency, ESA, helped create this composite image. The research work was part of an international project called PANGS, which makes use of the Hubble, James Webb, and many ground-based telescopes to capture 19 nearby star forming galaxies in the infrared. The beauty of James Webb's super clear observations of Phantom is that astronomers can now pinpoint star forming regions in galaxies and correctly measure the masses and ages of star clusters. 
Furthermore, they have gained insights into the nature of the small grains of dust moving in interstellar space. One exciting discovery that James Webb Telescope has brought to the doorsteps of scientists on a silver platter is a star called WBR 140. Sometime in July 2022, the JWST captured an image of the distant star, also known as Wolf Rayet Star. In line with the telescope's signature diffraction pattern, we can see an imaging pattern in the iconic image. However, what astonished scientists is the fact that around the star, there was an unusual pattern that looked unreal. It was a ripple-like pattern of concentric rings that had a peculiar, slightly boxy shape. Compared to the diffraction pattern of James Webb, these unlikely shaped rings are real features. Scientists were presented with a six-pointed blue structure artifact, and it is considered an artifact due to optical diffraction from the bright star WR140. From what astronomers tell us, the wolf rayet stars are massive stars that are almost at the end of their lives, as they have already released most of their hydrogen into space. Further investigations on this finding have revealed that the strangely shaped rings are caused by the interaction between the WR140 and its smaller companion star. Thanks to James Webb, we know that the stars are surrounded by a cloud of dust that is sculpted into that shape by its companion star. Like every other telescope and spacecraft launched by NASA, the James Webb Telescope had specific objectives. One of its primary objectives is to help us discover and learn about distant galaxies we never knew existed. Without mincing words, the Webb Telescope has been doing a great job in this area. One of its recent achievements is the discovery of the four most distant galaxies known. The telescope stumbled upon this discovery in mid-December 2022. This finding implies that we have finally found the oldest known galaxies in existence. From Webb's observations, these galaxies came into existence 13.4 billion years ago. This was when the universe was only 350 million years old. That is, the universe was barely 2% of its current age. As soon as scientists spotted these galaxies, they began to suspect that they were very ancient and could be older than any of the other galaxies we had ever come across. Their suspicion was proved true after they employed the telescope's Advanced Deep Extragalactic Survey, JADES, to confirm the galaxy's age. They concluded, after making use of Webb's near-infrared spectrograph, to learn how fast these galaxies were moving away from the telescope. The galaxy's redshift was found to be 13.2, which is the highest ever measured. Redshift means how much the wavelength of light the galaxy shed has lengthened as the universe expands. As a testament to the superiority of the JWST in understanding our cosmos, astrophysicist Brant Robertson confirmed that these galaxies are way beyond what we could have imagined finding before the web came along. Robertson, who is a researcher at the University of California, Santa Cruz, and also a part of the observation team, further stated that the Webb Telescope has made it possible for us to find distant galaxies and confirm spectroscopically that they are very far away from us. Discovering the most distant galaxies is not the only thrilling finding that the Joy WST has brought our way. It has taken our understanding of exoplanets to a higher level through the observation of an exoplanet's atmosphere in greater detail. We often know little to nothing about the atmosphere of discovered exoplanets. However, such a situation might soon be a thing of the past because the James Webb Telescope is heralding a discovery pattern. The first on the list is the planet called WASP-39b. This planetary body, which can be seen orbiting a star in the constellation Virgo, seems to be the most explored world outside our solar system. WASP. 39b is a boiling gas giant that is 700 light years away from the Earth. Images obtained by the web show that this planet is orbiting its host star at an unusually close distance. When scientists checked, they found out that it was about eight times closer to its host star than the Mercury is closer to the Sun. 
By using the JWST's main camera and its two spectrographs, astronomers successfully identified carbon dioxide in its atmosphere. This finding was received with warm applause in the scientific community because it was the first time we were finding such gas in an exoplanet's atmosphere. Furthermore, researchers have come to learn that the planet's atmosphere is dominated by thick clouds composed of sulfur and silicates, including sulfur dioxide. As expected, scientists have used the information gained from the planet's atmosphere to make conclusions regarding its history and formation. According to scientists, this planet is believed to have been formed from a collision of smaller planetesimals. Also, the fact that this planet has more oxygen in its atmosphere than carbon means that it was likely formed much farther from its star than it currently is. It's not only the atmosphere of exoplanets that the James Webb Telescope has successfully observed. It has taken its exploration mandate to Titan's cloud. Titan, which is Saturn's moon, has been a subject of interest for the astronomical community, and it is considered one of the most intriguing celestial bodies in our solar system. It's unlike most of the other moons in the universe, as it is composed of a rock made of water ice, including seas, rivers, and lakes made of liquid methane and ethane. Titan is an unusual planetary satellite because it is the only moon in the solar system that has a thick atmosphere. A flight through Titan's atmosphere would reveal a hazy place dotted with methane clouds. We have a picture of how this atmosphere looks like thanks to the atmospheric data obtained by James Webb. The finding, made in November 2022, got NASA scientists grinning as they glanced at their computers. Their excitement rose to the roof after they discovered that they had captured not one, but two clouds. One of the clouds could be found spread out over the moon's largest sea, Kraken. Scientists are eager to examine this data further because there is a high chance it would help them map out the moon's haze and discover new gases in its atmosphere. For a long time, scientists believed that there was nothing special about the Southern Ring Nebula. However, the JWST has come to disagree with this narrative and has proved that we were wrong to think the nebula was simply a dying star called a white dwarf. It was believed to have expelled its outer layers and glowed brightly. However, scientists knew that there was another non-dying star, part of a binary system, that was largely obscured beneath the brightly lit gas. Nevertheless, the telescope's stunning image of the nebula has shown that it isn't as simple as that. When the JWST imaged the cloud with two of its instruments, the near-infrared camera, NIRCAM, and the mid-infrared instrument, MIRI, astronomers discovered that the white dwarf wasn't invisible as they had expected in that wavelength. Instead, they saw that the cloud was glowing red, surrounded by a haze of cool gas. The question on researchers' minds was, where had the gas come from? From the observed data, scientists concluded that the nebula hit a third star, which was the source of the gas. Furthermore, Webb's main camera had captured intriguing shells around the outer edges of the nebula, which is similar to those around WR-140. They believe that a third star, somewhere between the two known ones, could be responsible for the ripple-like shells. When Northrop Grumman was developing the James Webb Telescope for NASA, the space agency might not have anticipated that the telescope would discover a celestial body bigger than a planet, but too small to be a star. We are talking about the VHS 1256b, a brown dwarf that produces a dim reddish glow. The glow is a modified form of the fusion that happens on massive objects, but too small to fuse hydrogen. Another strange thing that has been observed about this body is that it has sandy silicate clouds. This is the first time we have seen something like this in such an object. More so, the exoplanet is small for a brown dwarf, and therefore young. In addition, the telescope successfully identified individual chemicals in the brown dwarf's strange atmosphere, such as water, methane, carbon dioxide, and potassium. 
The observed ratios of the different compounds suggest that the object has a turbulent atmosphere. Imagine assuming an exoplanet didn't have clouds at all, and you later found out that it actually did. This was the case of NASA scientists after James Webb observed WASP-96b. From the first set of images and data released by Webb, the exoplanet had hazy skies, clouds, and water vapor. The telescope's spectrographs had analyzed the light of the planet's star that filtered through the planet's atmosphere as it crossed in front. It was a case of obtaining a spectrum where we have a kind of barcode of the wavelengths of light absorbed by the planet's atmosphere. Furthermore, researchers have uncovered the fact that the strong sodium signature of the planet's atmosphere didn't mean that it would have cloudless skies. Although there are signs of water on this faraway planet, it doesn't mean that there is the presence of life. The planet is a gas giant and can be described as the hot Jupiter. It is half as massive but slightly larger than Jupiter. More so, it is very close to its host star, orbiting it every 3.4 days. James Webb also provided us with information on the planet's surface temperature, which is a tropical 1,000 degrees Celsius. If the James Webb telescope were a superhero, it would have multiple superpowers, one of which would be its ability to look through dust and discover things that were hidden from other telescopes, such as Hubble. We can't really blame these telescopes because they are limited in their use of visible light, unlike the Webb, which has infrared ability. Recently, the JWST captured an image of two galaxies colliding. Although this was a well-received finding, it had inadvertently discovered something greater than the Hubble had found. The Webb had stumbled upon an area of intense star formation, which astronomers say is producing stars 20 times faster than in our own galaxy. The Webb telescope has presented a new image where we can see this merging galaxies, which are called IC 1623. In the image, we get to see an area of star formation that shines so bright with infrared radiation that it even produces the JWST signature pointed star diffraction pattern. Researchers believe that the merging of these galaxies, which are about 270 million light years away from the Earth, may have created a supermassive black hole that is not visible to the web. If this is true, then it means that we have a peculiar discovery hiding in the shadows, waiting to be uncovered by a much superior telescope. Nevertheless, scientists are still focused on the numerous thrilling discoveries about the cosmos that the JWST could reveal in the coming days. Thanks for watching another episode of Voyager. While you're still here, make sure to click the video on your screen for more mind-blowing videos about space.